In tonight's State of the Capitol report, there is now less than one month left in this legislative session. As Fox 16's Drew Petromo reports, so far 445 bills have been passed by both chambers of the legislature and signed into law by the governor. Now, whether that's a good thing depends on who you ask. Tax cuts, we really took care of those early. Going into the session, it was one of the governor's top priorities and the legislature delivered, passing a tax cut for low-income earners, making less than $21,000 per year. There's also been a tax cut for military retirees, but not everyone likes how it was paid for by increasing taxes on digital downloads, unemployment benefits, and candy and soft drinks. Well, a lot has been accomplished, but I don't think it's for the good of the people of the state of Arkansas. The legislature working to implement the medical marijuana amendment passed by voters. So far, efforts to delay or drastically change the program have been thwarted. We have, number one, provided that the products that the people want are going to be available for them. We're going to continue to watch that. Number two, keep it out of the hands of children. Number three, keep it out of uh, unsafe places like automobiles and work sites. And number four, keep organized crime out of it. From marijuana to alcohol and a bill approved by lawmakers to expand wine sales in grocery stores. That's a big fight, and those are often some of the hardest because they, they can be emotional and very personal for a lot of people. On education, the governor has a bill on his desk giving charter schools the ability to use unused and underused public school facilities and the governor's proposed budget would allocate three million dollars in additional funding to pre-k. Arkansas already uh, is up uh, at the top as far as states go with access to pre-k uh, education and so we're proud of that and we're going to continue to maintain that. And there are still things remaining on the agenda. One of the big issues left for the legislature to decide what to do with various gun bills floating around the state capitol, including one that would allow some college students to bring their weapons on campus. On education, lawmakers will consider an effort to expand school choice. Highway funding, another big topic. Lawmakers are looking for a long-term revenue source to improve roads. One idea being considered is to allow a vote on increasing the gas tax. And then there is the thorny issue of separating the Martin Luther King Jr. and Robert E. Lee Holiday. Legislative legislation passed the state Senate and now it awaits consideration in the House. It was all about